<laughs> I don't mind you fucking her is one of the perks, but she has to understand the consequences if she disappoints me. Are we clear? Of course, Sonny. You're not getting attached, are you? A man of your caliber? You don't need to worry about that. I hope not. Way, come in, have a drink. You ever fuck some famous pussy, Way? Not yet. Maybe one day. <laughs> it's a trip, man, let me tell you. You drive by one of those billboards the size of a building, and you tell yourself, I'm going to her place, bend her over the table, and mm, and then you do it. There's no other feeling like it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, speaking of stars, I need to go pick up Vivian. Let Way do it. You and I have more business to discuss. How about it, Way? Think you can handle a smoking hot starlet for the day? Uh, sure. Uh, you know, as long as Ricky doesn't think I'm moving in on his territory. <laughs> nah, of course not. Here, take my car. <laughs> you take good care of my little starlet. Go ahead and fuck her if you want. Just don't damage the goods. Who are you? I'm Way. Ricky sent me. Didn't he tell you? No, I was expecting Ricky. Everything okay? Everything is not okay. Is it wrong of me to want to see my boyfriend? Why do I have to put up with this? No, Vivi, it's not wrong. And you put up with it because Ricky loves you. But... But what? Since your boyfriend isn't driving, I get to sit in front. <laughs> Why are the bad ones always so good looking? I'm Sandra. What's your name again? It's Way. Ricky talks about him a lot. Oh, all nice things, I'm sure. And you're here to basically do whatever we want? Uh, something like that. What do you have in mind? Hmm. Do you have steady hands at high speeds? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I can provide references if you like. Well, are you trying to talk him into one of those street races you always go on about? What's the deal, Way? You a gangster like Ricky? He's not a gangster, don't say that. Let's say I'm as much of a gangster as Ricky. Oh, that's too bad. Recently I've wanted to date a gangster. Well, maybe I'll see if I can find one for you. That would be nice. What's Ricky doing anyways? Why is he too busy? I don't know. Something with Sonny. Sonny? That guy's a creep and a perv. Sorry, Ricky. It's okay. What? What'd he do? Nothing. But he tried. I was at a party on Wallace Chung's yacht. I was like... That's him, that's him, pull up. Hi, Alex. How are you? Huh. This is your new boyfriend? Not yet. Why? Are you jealous? Of this guy? Hey, so Sandra says you like to race. How about it? Now, if you win, I'll let you take the girls home. Way? I'm not sure how much that's worth. Okay, we race for the girls and a hundred thousand. Sure, I'll take your money too. You racing with the girls in your car? The extra weight will slow you down, idiot. Think of it as your head start, Alex. Because you're going to need it. Think of it as your head start. I'll show him.
that the police? I don't want to get arrested. That could be really bad. is beating so fast. Wait. <laughs> Steady hands. Gotta give you that. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, get a room, you two. Oh, shit! The police! The police! The police! Are they after us? Oh, no. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Right, wait? Yeah, it'll be fine. Don't worry. Awesome, thank God. Nice work, way. You're driving us home, right? Of course. Well, unless Sandra has some other exciting plan. <laughs> nah, I'm all excited out. Oh, that's it, just over there. <clears throat> that was fun, way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Anytime. Vivi, give Way my number and tell him he can take me out on a second date. <laughs> Sandra says you can take her on a second date if you want. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Thanks. Thanks for taking us out today. It was my pleasure. Kind of you to join me. Care for some tea? I like yum tea. Thank you. 
Tu Jin Sao seems to be getting very comfortable in his new position as temporary chairman. Too comfortable. I hear that he is already planning to make it permanent, should Uncle Po not recover. Um, Big Smiley will kill him before he'll let that happen. Indeed. And that would allow Lee to take over the Sun Onyi himself. But that can't happen. No, it cannot. Tu Jin must go. Dan Hai, he must not be removed by force. He must step down on his own, after which there will be an election. Why would he step down? Tu Jin likes heroin. So far, he has managed to control his habit. Dan Hai, anyone who indulges as he does, lives permanently on the brink of an abyss. Nah, I've arranged for the quality of his supply to improve. And now, you will give him a nudge. Over the edge. Okay. How? He is an immensely superstitious man. Ho Mai Sun Ga, obsessed with Feng Shui. He cannot bear to have the slightest thing out of place for fear of the misfortune it will bring. And you want me to... Make sure his luck turns bad. Very bad. <laughs> I like your style. I will. Hey, what's your problem, kid? Mrs. Chang want you to talk to me. Hey, you broken noses, guy? Mrs. Chang said you were gonna do. She told me to tag along. Give you Feng Shui advice. Feng Shui, ah! I'm out of here. Only buy it. Feng Shui is huge in Hong Kong. You believe that? Yeah. I've been spending a lot of time reading about ghosts and the supernatural. Want to make sure nobody I kill can hurt me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Have a nice day. Ah, right on schedule. You usually goes gambling at this time. Two Chin loses money fast. We better hurry up. How we can do that? Kid? We'll find a way in. Come on. Okay. Yeah, hello? Who's this? We got a delivery for you? Really? My husband didn't tell me. He better not have ordered something stupid from the internet again. Wow. You got all kinds of skills, don't you, kid? Reminds me of myself when I was your age. Less salty. <laughs> I bet you're smarter, but probably not as tough. Oh, the muscle deal! Yeah, lay low, lay low. I didn't even know I had a muscle there. Ah, that hurts like hell. Maybe I'll get a massage after this. Hey, don't be creepy. What? You never heard of a grand massage? Like a real one, not a sex one. Happens all the time. Just as any professional athlete. <sighs> so, uh, how's business? To be honest, Sun Ga? Pretty damn shitty. Really? What happened? I'm taking a break from the import export gig. How come? Uh, something went wrong. I don't really want to talk about it. All right. What the hell do you think you're doing? The boss's dog got out. We don't find it before he comes back, and heads will roll. Oh, shit. I haven't seen it. Open the gate from the inside. Hell, fucking tell me to wait here. Huh? <clears throat> Open it from the back, kid. Oh, sorry. Oh, come on. Wow, you're pretty air talented. What? I say you're pretty talented. Oh, okay, sure. You too, Santi. I'm gonna kick the door down. Hey, 
Hurry up, kid. I think I see a guard. Wow, silently. When you look at this place. Man, if I were him, I'd spend my money differently. All right, Salty. You're the expert. What are we doing? Detend you, huh? We're fucking with his stuff to make it seem like there's ghosts that don't like him. What about those vases? Good idea. Maybe just me four. Four isn't a lucky number because the word sounds like <laughs> Chinese. I know four is bad, but shouldn't we try something else? <laughs> We're some pretty unoriginal ghosts. <laughs> Chin's gonna freak! Either he think goes fucking with him, or he knows his home is insecure. <laughs> Somebody coming, we better go. Mr. Chow, is that you? Anybody in there? What do we do? Just hide. Stay calm. We better hurry up. Aya deal! There's a camera. Looks like wrong camera. Oh God, Tana! I hate how everyone got security cameras everywhere. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. So, uh. Why do they call you old salty crab? Uh, well... Could it one year? Those cards must have been rigged. I never had a game like that before. Never! What's wrong with me, Sigo Gamga? 
Why, why didn't you stop me? It's your job to protect me, isn't it? Fucking rodents, all of you. What is this? The McGowan tour. Look at this. How can you let this happen? It's all gone to shit. Gone to shit. What do you want us to do, boss? Get out. Get out. I need to think. Chalaya. Wait. The guy left their car. Let's check it. Wait, wait, wait. Let's take the guard's car. Nice. Ah, oh, damn well. I always wanted to get myself one of these. <laughs> one of these? <laughs> really? Ah, yeah, okay. Bad idea. You're a strange guy, old salty crab. Thanks. That means a lot to me. Woo! Kia! Oh, hey, you probably got drugs. Hey, I have a delivery here from the Golden Boy. Nice work, kid. You got your salty style. I comes in. See you later, kid. Old salty style. <laughs> Hello. Wait. Miss Jane. How are you? Uncle Paul. He's dead. We're making arrangements for the funeral. Things could get, uh... Complicated. Yes. I'll be in touch. Of course. Whatever you need. How's the date with Vivian go? You wanna be her new boyfriend? <laughs> Relax, Ricky. I'm just making a joke. So, wait. You know Fifi Meow? Uh, you mean the movie star? Yeah, I heard of her. What's she doing these days? She's doing another movie in the Stripper Assassin franchise. But I want the role for Vivian. That's a great idea. That would be huge for Vivian. Yeah, it would help her profile. Aren't you going with Vivian to the release party? Yeah, you're right. Good call. We're releasing the track that King produced tonight. You have a great time. You and the hottest star in Hong Kong. Go, have fun. You know Big Smile Lee? Oh yeah, we've crossed paths. Good. We've got a joint venture making porn. He brings the girls, I bring the production and distribution. That's good money, I bet. Yeah, if Vivian pisses me off, that's where she'll end up. But there's more money if I keep her a star. I just have to make sure she doesn't flake out on me. I want you to put some cameras up in an apartment. I need it done right away. Can you organize that for me? Yeah, of course, Sonny. I'll take care of it for you. Okay. Here's the address. There's a box of stuff over by the elevator.
Excuse me, sir. I don't think I've seen you before. I'm a location scout. Could you let me have a look around? Only residents and their guests are allowed, sir. Now be quick. I'll make it worth your while. No. It's not going to happen, sir. You have to leave the premises, sir. 